Hello. Hi. Yes, you. I'm greeting you. Please greet me back with a smile behind the camera, behind the computer. Look how happy I am to be speaking to you. Welcome to Critical Thinking Part 2. My name is Buseso Joshua Mulemi. I am a CEO, not a chief executive officer, but a catalyst empowering others. I'm an author of a book called Work Through the Barriers to Success and a graduate from this university, the University of Pretoria. Yes, if you watched Critical Thinking Part 1, you see me for the second time. I'm back. I hope you're all good. If you're tuning into Critical Thinking Part 2, but you haven't watched Part 1, please, go back to Part 1. you got to watch it. There is critical information that I share that will challenge you, that will grow you, that will develop you. In Part 1, I speak about what critical thinking is. Maybe you've heard the word, but you don't understand what it means. I speak about that in Part 1. I speak about why critical thinking is so important for you, for your career for your growth. I speak about the power of your thoughts in critical thinking. And so it's important for you to go back, go back, go back, go back, go back to part one, because if you don't do part one, then you're not really going to understand the challenge of part two. So go back. What is part two about? In this video, I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to activate you. I want you to take the information that you have about critical thinking and implement it. As I said in one of the videos, imagine if you just went to school to sit behind a desk to listen to a teacher and never be tested. That's not exciting, right? You want to see if it's true. You want to prove it right or wrong. And you do that by implementing the information that you have. So, you're watching this video and perhaps your parents have chosen for you a particular sport that you must play, a particular degree that you must study, particular subjects that you must go through at school. They've chosen these things for you. And on the other side, you're like, ah, but I don't want to play that sport. I don't want to do that degree. I don't want to do these subjects. Critical thinking comes to play right now. I know of friends who started degrees. They hated those degrees. Yes, they've graduated, but they don't love it. And I think if they had used the skill of critical thinking, hey, who knows? They could have convinced their parents to study another degree. Critical thinking is essential. So, what I need you to do is, there's a particular degree that you want to study. There's a particular subject that you want to study. And maybe your parents are saying no, or maybe your parents are saying yes. So what I need you to do, identify that degree, identify that subject. Then critical thinking comes into play. I need you to go and get facts about that subject, about that degree. I need you to convince your parents that this is the right degree. This is the right subject. This is the right sport. So you're going into a debate with your parents, all right? One of the ways to win that debate is through facts is through data, is through research. So identify the degree that you want to study in the next year or two years. And then have a debate with your parents who say, this is the subject or degree that I want to do, and these are the reasons, one, two, three, four, why I want to do it. And you want to make sure that you win that debate. You want to make sure that you win that argument. And you will do that through research. You will do that to getting the right facts, critical thinking. What I also need you to do is go onto the web, go and look at some articles about a degree that you want to study. Let's focus on the degree because in the next year or two, you'll be going to university. A degree that you want to study. Go and read up on those articles, right? Analyze those articles. Look, the, look at the facts, look at the issues, right? Look at the evidence. Is there evidence about this degree and the jobs that are available? Look at that article. That is my assignment to you. That is my challenge to you. 
right? Are you taking on the challenge? Please take on the challenge. Find an accountability partner and make sure you grow and develop this skill of critical thinking. Until then, keep learning and keep growing. I'll see you on the third video where we'll be speaking about the challenges and the solutions. I'll see you then in part three. Keep learning, keep growing, keep growing your skill of critical thinking.